earth. Father God, we come this evening thanking you for the many blessings that thou hast bestowed upon us. Father God, we ask you to bless the proceedings of the Escambia County Democratic Black Caucus this evening. We ask you to bless all of those participants that are on the call. Bless all of those that are coming on the call and those who are not able to attend this evening. We ask you to continue to bless the leader of this organization. Bless the president of the United States and their, his cabinet members that they may continue to do things that are pleasing in the sight of the Lord. We ask you to now to forgive us all for our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. And for his sake, amen. 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 Okay. The night means is meeting for the elections and many things of the next meeting. I will, I would like to um, sort of table the other other items for next meet next month. We have the election. Another meeting, uh, the state has a state board meeting at 6 30, uh, thereabouts. So you know, the, the officers or the president can call into the news to the state board meeting. So therefore, we reduce this meet time for this meeting. We can have we can do the state board meeting, which is very important because in that meeting, because the bylaws. And of course, you know, with those who's on the on the my email last couple of weeks, the bylaws are some things that we think they need to need to be changed. So, if no one objects, I'm gonna actually table all items all items except for the election nominating committee by Phil Air. And the election committee by Leo Eubanks. And we table all other items until next meeting. Can I get a motion for that? So move. I'll second it. Who the second that we table all items except for the ones related to the election for this evening at the next meeting? Any questions? Those in favor say aye. 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 And those opposed. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the first item will be um, the nominee committee. Uh, Phil Air was the chair of that, that meeting. That committee. The committee is uh, pleased to report uh, that we we are thankful for the opportunity to serve as uh, as the nominating committee. We submitted a written report 30 days prior to this uh, this meeting. Uh, with a slate of nominees per a good faith application of the current state uh, bylaws, and the uh, nominations or the yeah the nominating committee uh, puts forward only three candidates for the five positions that need to be filled. Uh, the nominees are uh, for president Fred Gant, for first vice president Sandra McCreary, for second vice president No. Uh, candidate nominated, and for treasurer uh, Barbara Petty, and for recording secretary, no candidate uh, nominated. Uh, we thank you for the opportunity to serve, and that concludes the nominating committee's report. Okay, thank you, thank you, Phil. Let me say now that the the ones who didn't have a um, application for for to be elected. Uh, we are going, we're going to go to Leo will do the election process and as she goes down each 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 office uh we can always nominate from the floor i'll a little explain that and if we don't have anyone nominated for the floor tonight then the board the president and board appoint that vacant office okay that's the process going forward all righty so you want it Leo uh any questions to feel about you about Phil's committee report any questions on that Many member. Okay, Fred, I just want to kind of uh, let people know what's going to happen uh, as far as the electronic process. Uh, we're using uh, something called a uh, Zoom poll. You know, a poll is like a survey, but it's the same process as voting for an office. So essentially, um, we're going to uh, Ask, first of all, we're going to start with president and go down so that if a certain a person uh, doesn't isn't elected for a particular office, then if they want to be in another office, they can be nominated from the floor for that office. So essentially, we're going to announce the candidates, ask for nominations from the floor, 
and um, ask the candidates, first of all, if they are willing to serve if someone nominates them. And secondly, uh, give them up to three minutes um, to say a few words about why they think we should elect them uh, to be that office. And then what will happen is I have a ballot created and I will add to the ballot as people are nominated to the floor. And I will do what's known as launch the ballot. So you'll see the ballot and then uh, you get to vote for one person on each individual ballot. And then the, uh, all the calculations are done by the Zoom uh, program. I, I don't actual count votes. They just um, will come up and say, they'll show me that everyone has voted. And uh, then they will have the percentage of people who got whatever votes they got. Okay. And then I, and I will show you that and then we'll declare the winner. Um, any questions about that process? And I think you'll see that it's pretty simple. You're just gonna, you know, click on a dot and it'll show who you vote for and it'll show the percentage each person got. All right, any, any questions? All right. uh, a, a point of clarification, please. Yes, go ahead, Phil. So I, I, it's my understanding and correct me if I'm wrong, that all candidates need to be present at the meeting to be elected to include the ones that uh, the nominating committee nominated and i note that barbara petty is not not present and i'm wondering if someone could kindly call her and ask her to jump on the meeting and then um secondly if we do not fill all five positions i understand he is um, with the state caucus is at jeopardy, if not, can be done. So I would encourage yeah. us to try to fill all five I didn't get positions that, tonight. I didn't get that, Phil? Say that one more yes. time. The last, the last comment you made. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, under, I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, because you're, you're plugged in pretty much in this executive committee's, uh, or it's the caucus's decision. But I understand that if we do not fill all five positions, uh, we run the risk of not being accredited by the state. A bylaw, well, I hadn't heard that, Phil. I hadn't heard that, but the bylaws okay. have a provision to have to fill those seats in locally and here internally. So the bylaws provide for a, a process to fill those seats. And so, and also the bylaws say that that the um, chair can appoint someone if there's no one who um, is dominated to run. Because I know that okay, I, I know that's that's the way it goes for us. So, uh, are we ready then, everybody? And Linda, you look like were you calling, uh, yeah, Barbara? I believe yeah. she's uh, trying to reach Barbara Petty at the moment, just to make okay. sure. Okay, I'm uh, trying to reach. Before we start, I just want to make sure that we've got everybody. Um, I think he all and voting members and look. Now that's a that's. That came across my mind a minute ago and left it. Is there anyone who is not a uh, dues paying voting member? Well, I think because of the way the polling is going to work, I want to make sure that we have everybody uh, identified, you know, as. Let in me let me go through the roll and just uh, see who is here. Modest is here. Um, Diane is not here. Lawrence is not here. Uh, Linda Scott is here. Derek Scott is here. Um, Barbara, we're trying to get in touch with. Uh, I am here. Uh, Fred Sr. Uh, Sandra is here. Um, is Patricia Gant here? Patricia Gant? Nope. Okay, how about Mary Dillon? Yes. I saw that, right? Yes. Okay. I saw, I, as soon as I said that, I think I, and did we get Vincent where he, I see him also? Okay, good. Fred Gant is here. How about Sharon Kidd? Nope. Uh, Oliver Crawford? That's me. Oh, okay. Me Where's read. Oliver? Okay. Hey, Bozy, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's my nickname. <laughs> All right. Just for gotcha. the purposes of tonight, I'm going to rename you so we clearly know who it is. 
Thank you for that. Nice okay. Beautiful. All right. Uh, Caleb Parker. Nope. Okay. Uh, Tammy Holly. Nope. Uh, Lumen is not here. I don't see him. Uh, how about, is it Losi Letha? No. Frank Harris. I saw Frank. Run go. There he is. Phil is here. And Joseph Holmes. Okay, so uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Does that match with what we have? Uh, no. Fred, are you logged in twice? Yeah, I saw you. This is Max. Fred I, Jr. This is Fred. Oh, this Fred, Fred Jr. Jr. That's what. Well, yeah. Fred Jr., there you are. Yeah, I see it. Number two. Okay, yes, gotcha. All right. Miss Eubanks, if yes. I can get a, Barbara is on my line, landline. If okay. I can get a number to give her to call in. Uh, um, Derek, can you help with that, dear? Hey, what did you say? I'm if sorry. you can get uh, Barbara a number to call in. Okay. Uh, Linda has second. her on the line. Okay. If we could get a phone number for her to call in, then she can be present. Hurrah. One moment. And Derek, you got two of you on the screen. No, nope, just one. The, just one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Black Caucus doesn't vote. Okay. Okay. Black Caucus can't vote. All right. Got it. Okay. How are we doing with Barbara? Did we get our number? Let's see. I'm pulling that up now. For okay. Meeting IP. Do we want to go ahead uh, with starting the presidential? Well, let's, let's get Barbara. Yeah, sure. Let's get Barbara on first, though. Barbara Patty. Okay. Let me right. get on first. She's she's waiting and pending. All right. When she gets on, we can we can proceed. Okay. Okay, so I sent the information to her. She doesn't seem to be able to uh, retrieve anything on her phone. So if I could get a number to. Uh... Okay, well, let me do that. <clears throat> you want to put it in the chat? Yeah, I'm doing that now. I spoke with Patricia. She can't. She can't retrieve the email. Um, Derek, I just spoke to my sister. She can't retrieve the email. The, the invite. She can't get that for some reason. What do you mean? She can't get the invite. She didn't get the invite. Can't, 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 this morning, right? And I tell her we're not this, this afternoon at one o'clock. When one eleven o'clock this morning, I give her a time frame. She can't get on the, on her phone. So she can then uh, use the telephone number that I just put in uh, to dial in remotely via phone and just add the, the call in my phone. What's that? What's that number? Uh, it's I just wrote it in it's, the chat. Hang it's on. in the chat. OK, I'm writing. It's four, seven, zero, 
2509358. 9358? Nine, yes. Does she can call in and vote? Yes. Well, see, that's the thing. I don't know if the voting uh, polls extend on for phone, but we uh, can see. I don't know either, Derek. I've actually never run across that before. Mm -hmm. That's a new one for me. Well, I can always get my trusty calculator out and add, <laughs> add people by hand if I need to, whatever. Let, let me, I could have sent my sister another link. Can we do that, Derek? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna get out of Zoom for a second. So, okay. Uh, are you gonna send it in the? You can I pull think... it from your uh, actual Zoom if you click on the. Uh, right now. You can pull it from Zoom if you go down to the bottom of your screen where it says participants. Participants, yeah. Click on that. Or you can just have Derek do it. And select invite. Mm -hmm. Select down participants. Mm hmm. It should have opened up a new box for you, maybe to the right, with a list of everybody currently in the Zoom call. Okay. There were one participants. Can I look to the right hand side and put. Now, do you see the list of participants? At the very bottom of it, there's a blue, there's a link or to the bottom left of it. It's an it's an invite. Mm -hmm. Select that. Right. Okay. And click on can, that. Okay. Yeah. Then once you click on that, you can copy the invite link or copy the invitation. Copy invitation. And then you can send it uh, either by mail or through the phone, through your cell phone, whichever is easiest for you. Okay. Well, there's Mr. Lumen May. Lumen got in? Okay, good. I see. I see his name. Lumen, is that you? Yeah, I'm in a meeting, but I'm I'm joining in for a few minutes, and I have to go back in this meeting. Uh, at the okay. Well, we we should be starting pretty quickly. Good to see you. Always good to see you, my friend. Okay. And I sent uh, you a text today. Check it out. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. I'm 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 at a meeting. Uh, at the courthouse, but I wanted to step out and be a part of this meeting, but I'm going to have to go back into the meeting uh, pretty quick. Okay. okay. Oh, we're, we're trying to get a couple people on who we're having trouble getting on. And I'm, I might suggest what I try to tell people who are not sure if they can get on to come cup you know like five or ten minutes early give me, give me a second please give me about two minutes yeah okay oh another another body heard from Okay, we're moving right up to 15 now. We're trying to um, let particular Barbara um, get in because she's the nominee for um, uh, treasurer. I know in the DEC that if a person can't be there, but you know that they are interested, you can appoint them and then vote the next time if there's nobody else that wants to run. Okay. Because that... Uh, 
Uh, we've got another minute, please. All right. Do you have an objection uh, to uh, what Lil just said? I don't know if you heard her. Uh, yeah, I'll say it again. Um, Fred, I know that in our bylaws or in our situation, we have I have a couple once or twice if there was no one nominated, mm -hmm. but there was a person who uh, would run, but they couldn't be at that particular meeting. I appointed them and then elected that office the next meeting. Okay, we think that allows, allows for the same thing, doesn't it? I think so. I, th I think so. Yeah, okay. I just thought so if, with, Barbara, uh, if Barbara can't get on, and I'm just going to take a guess that nobody wants to jump in there and volunteer to be the treasurer <laughs> or somebody wants to run for treasurer. Okay. Uh, then if nobody wants to run for it, then like you said, can be appointed and then you can hold an election at the next meeting. Okay. And we officially, well, let's see. So uh, Fred, are you ready? Want to start? Yes, Go ahead and we're, start. We're, we're ready. I think uh, people trying to trying to call in now, but uh, we can't we can't wait forever. Yeah, I agree. Because it's almost yeah. six thirty, and that's when your other meeting starts. Yeah, we get sure. Let's just go for it. Okay, so uh, the nominating committee has nominated uh, the incumbent Fred Gant to uh, run. Uh, Mr. Gant, are you willing to to run for I, I am. I get my, president I get my, again? Um, I am, yes, ma'am. Barbara Pettis. Chair. Okay, Barbara, thank you. We see you. Okay. We Term see your phone number, so. Right. Term We're hoping you'll see the uh, election poll. So, Fred, since you are our first nominee, would you like to say a few oh, words? Yeah, well, I got a passion to get the Sanders out of office come uh, 2022. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 cut, cut my term short last year, last term. I lost all of last year due to COVID in terms of activities. I'm ready to gear up, gear up, gear up down with the uh, pandemic winding down, hopefully, and we can do more things outside and you know more things live would be great for us. Uh, I got people lined up to assist us, uh, to raise money, and uh, hopefully um, work with the party, all the different caucuses to work together. We all one party. We all one party. And different caucuses to make, the, make a difference and get um, a Democrat elected to local offices, state and national offices. Get them elected. That's my that's my rally cry. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Fred. Do we have any other nominations from the floor? I um, yes. I have a nomination. Yes. Uh, for, uh, for Derek Scott. Okay. Uh, Derek, would you be willing to? Uh, run for this office? I lost him. Derek, yeah, I think you're muted. Sorry, my bad. I said uh, thank you, Dr. Dillon. And yes, I would be willing to run for the office of president. All right, if you would like to say a few words. Sure, uh, for those that do not know me, my name is Derek Scott. I've been actively involved for the past few years with the caucus, uh, primarily within the last year working with the social media. So any of the posts, emails, Facebook uh, listings that you see, uh, those are the these hands. So with that, for this upcoming year, I'm hoping as president to see a great connection now that we're in a pre or post vaccine environment to be able to better align ourselves with the community, specifically around what it is that the community needs, how we can be the change agent and lead the uh, charge for the voice of all of the Pensacola community, but specifically our black residents here. Certainly we can align with a lot of the other organizations since we're all doing the same thing, where there's just no synergies and hopefully uh, within this next year, we can look at aligning, uh, serving as liaisons and appointing a council so that we can all come together and lead the change that we all want to see. 
Thank you. Uh, are there any other nominations? Any other nominations from the floor? Okay. Now, what we're what you're going to do is I am going to uh, I, we've created a poll uh, that has the two candidates, uh, Fred Gant and Derek Scott, uh, on it, and I am about to launch the polling, and then uh, you click the dot in front of the name and the um, the Zoom will do the calculation, okay? I'm going to launch the polling. Uh, does everyone see the the uh, ballot? Yes. All yes, right, if it. you would, if you would um, cast your vote. Uh, at this point, I have 11 uh, votes that have been polled. Uh, Barbara, are you able to uh, vote on your telephone? No. Okay. Um, we have... So there is... Yes. Uh, is there anyone world. who has not voted yet? So I was going to say with uh, the Democratic Black Caucus, it, when I made you host for the uh, voting process, it did pop up on the screen. I have not, uh, I've left it open, but if we can use that as a proxy for uh, Barbara, if she would like, or since she's not able to cast an official ballot, we can do that, or I'm not sure what the uh, process would entail. Okay, is there any, is there anyone else who is planning on voting who hasn't voted? I don't know if Lumen had to go back into his meeting or not. Lumen, are you there? Okay, I think I think Lumen is not uh, there, but I'm going to. Uh, in the polling, and uh, I know that the uh, Barbara's vote will will not change the result from uh, knowing what the percentage is. Is that uh, okay with you guys? Because that's the way it is. Barbara, mm -hmm. I'm sorry you can't see a ballot. On yeah, the I, can, I can. I can understand. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to show you in, we're going to end the polling because there's nobody else voting. And uh, you can see that um, the Mr. Gant has won with 67% of the vote. Okay. Did every, everybody see that? Does everybody see the yeah, results? We, yeah, we can't, we can't Did I share the results? I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Does everybody see the results? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. Yep. So Thank congratulations, okay. Mr. Gant. I see them. Yes, I see the results. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we're going to move forward. Um, the second vice president uh, was nominated by the nominating committee. It was Sandra McCreary. Uh, Sandra, are you willing to um, run for this office? Yes, I am. All right. Would you like to say a few words? It has been a pleasure uh, serving as vice president of the Escambia County Democratic Black Caucus. I have uh, been uh, a member for the last four years, I believe. I also presently serve on the Democratic Executive Committee. And um, many other organizations in the city. My goal, of course, is president in achieving uh, the goal and assist members to uh, to recruit members 
to uh, also uh, activate new members into the Excuse me, Miss, just a minute. Could everybody <laughs> mute themselves, please? There's some background noise. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Sandra. Mm -hmm. To activate on all new members into the organization. Uh, also to fill in and serve when the president is unavailable um, in the organization. I also serve as the the center for the Biden-Harris campaign where we received and distributed um, supplies for that organization. Uh, very successful as we know and we're very proud of the job that we did there. Uh, and uh, just glad to be a part of this organization that we can work diligently with all of the offices. Especially, thank you. Okay, thank you, Sandra. Uh, is there? Do I hear a nom any nominations from the floor? Anyone who wants to nominate themselves or, um, I'm sorry. Sandra, you're first vice president, right? Yes. Okay. I thought I, I might have, I think Phil said I, I might have said that incorrectly. Sorry. Um, is there any other nominations for first vice president? And one last time, any nominations from the floor for first vice president? Okay. Uh, if there are no other nominations, could I hear a motion uh, for um, electing Sandra McCreary first vice president by acclamation? I still hear a motion. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, do I hear a second? Second. Second. All right. All in favor, please raise your hand to elect Sandra by uh, acclamation. Uh, for those of you. Well, I can't see if you would make it so that I could see you briefly. All right. Congratulations, Sandra. You get to do some more work. We're so happy to hear it. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> there, there was, we do not have a, um, an, anyone serving right now as uh, second vice president. And, um, but I do want to give you the opportunity. We, there was no one that the nominating committee uh, had to nominate, but is there anybody who would like to make a nomination for someone to uh, run for second vice president? Any nominations from the floor for second I'm vice the, president? Derek Scott. Yes, Derek Scott. Okay. I would, I, I would, yes, I second right. the motion. All right. Fred has nominated Derek Scott for second vice president. Um, is and you seconded it, Sandra? Was that the same person you were talking about, Derek? Yeah, that's the same person I was going to nominate. Okay, so Derek, would you be willing to accept uh, that nomination? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, if you would like to say a few words about. Um, and I, I'm not sure of the breakdown between first and vice president, second vice president. So I hope uh, you guys understand. I'm sorry. All right, Derek, if you would like to say a few words. Uh, nothing new from prior time. So I would, I thank you both of you for the uh, nomination. I appreciate it and look forward if elected to uh, serving with you guys. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, does, do we have any other nominations from the floor? Any other nominations from the floor for second vice president? And one more time, any nominations from the floor for second vice president? Okay, could I hear a motion that we elect uh, Derek Scott to be second vice president by acclamation? Do I hear a motion? Senator McCrary, I so move. All right, is there a second? I second the motion. Okay, second. All right, thank you, Linda. All right, and so if um, we're gonna vote, uh, if you um, would like to have uh, Derek Scott as second vice president, please uh, raise your hand that we're voting to have him at, 
moved as I can't talk, sorry, by acclamation for second vice president. All right. I think that's a great, great addition to going to be a great addition to your team since now you have two vice presidents to pick on, Fred. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We again did not have a recording secretary, who, someone who is a recording secretary at the moment, and the nominating committee did not uh, put forth a name for recording secretary. Do I hear any nominations from the floor for recording secretary? Is there any nominations from the floor for recording secretary? And one last time, any nominations from the floor for recording secretary? So, uh, Mr. Gant, I will leave that to you to deal with uh, at a later date. Okay. All right, and finally, uh, for treasurer, uh, the nominating committee it's nominated uh, Barbara Petty. And um, Barbara, are you willing to take on this task? Yeah. <clears throat> yes. All right. Would you like to say a few words, dear, uh, to tell us uh, what your ideas are about being treasurer and what you'd like to do? Well, like, uh, as I said, with the pandemic and everything, uh, we haven't been able to meet in it do anything but uh i'm willing to um work hard do what i can with the group to um bring maybe new members and participate in other activities when we're out there campaigning i'm willing to do that and i'm just willing to be supportive and try to be the best treasure i can be try to uh, keep all the information and everything updated all right. Thank you very much, Barbara. Uh, do we have any other nominations for treasurer from the floor? Once again, any other nominations for treasurer from the floor? And the third and final time, any other nominations for treasurer from the floor? All right. If, if not, then I would like to um, ask for a motion that we uh, elect Barbara by acclamation. Uh, Derek, I think I saw your hand, hand or was that your hand? I'm sorry. Do I have a, a, a motion on the to? So, so move, uh, Fred. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, second. I second. Okay. All in favor, please raise your hand. Okay. Congratulations, Barbara. The deed is done. Uh, your officers uh, for 2021, 2022 are Fred Gant as president, uh, Sandra McCreary as first vice president, uh, Derek Scott as second vice president, uh, recording secretary to be announced, and treasurer Barbara Petty. So thank you all for uh, the honor of uh, doing this to help out. So, and I'm, I look forward to... Uh, as this year goes on, doing many, many things together with the Black Caucus. Thank you, Fred. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Aaliyah, you. for your work and your time that you put into this effort. I really appreciate that. So does the, so does the Black Caucus. Thank you very much. Uh, lecture is now over. Uh, the uh, officers have been announced by Leo. Two more items before we adjourn. Um, announcements, if you will. The May 1st is the Escambia County Executive Committee's open house in the new location. Where is that, Leo? All right, it's 55 South A Street. Uh, it's actually about a half block south of um, guard, the intersection of Garden and A, like you're heading towards uh, Joe Patty's. And we'll be there from two to five. Just come by for a few minutes or whatever. We'll have some light snacks. We want to show off our office. We're very happy with our new location. I think it'll be uh, a great one. And uh, I hope you'll all feel free to, to uh, come and see where it is and make use of the facilities when you need to. Super, great. Um, any more announcements or any questions for Leo? And I'll say if any of you would like to start getting involved with caucusing, we're going to start some, do some training on foot. Uh, we're going to do our first door-to-door uh, -door caucus on Saturday, May the 8th, from our office. 
at two o'clock and uh, we're not going to, we're going to try not to uh, do too many doors just to kind of get uh, the crowd um, trained up a little bit. And we'd love to have any of you who would like to join us. We're and we're going to do precinct 32, which is, or we're going to start on precinct 32, which is where our office is. What time, Leo? What time? Two, two o'clock. Two, 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 okay, two o'clock. Okay, good. And until we finish, which probably will be like four or third, no, three thirty or so. Thank you. Any more announcements? No, I just want to confirm. You said two to five on Saturday, correct? Yes, this Saturday, the first is our open house, and we'd love to have you. I want to say a few things. Thanks for your confidence, uh, voters, president of the, of the organization, the members. I appreciate your vote. I uh, look forward to working with all of you this upcoming year and, and Lil and the other in the party to make a difference in our community. Let me tell you also, people are, are warming up the Democrats. Those who have been around for a long time understand that some years ago, no one would admit <laughs> there was a Democrat, you know, white person, but very, very few would admit they were Democrats that I knew, okay? Now they're saying I'm a Democrat a lot more freely than they did two years ago, three years ago. People are warming up about our party, what we're doing, what we stand for. So, so be confident that we can take a stand in the county, be confident that we can elect a, a Democratic mayor, a Democratic state rep, be confident that we can turn the stand in the county blue. We can do that because as Lil indicated some time ago, I think it was Mary, uh, I think Mary's last name. Also, Williams. William talk, yeah. talked on for quite some time, a year or so ago. A lot of independents out, in, out there, a lot of independents are out there. Independents are out there. And we could turn them blue. We can do that, okay? With the independents and Democrats voting our way, we can win in Scamia County, okay? So I urge you to be confident. Those who have been around like I've been around understand what I'm talking about. Some may not, but people are, it's okay to say that Democrat now among a lot of other white people in Scamia County. And so to start talking and be confident who we are, stand up for the Democrats, speak out, of course, appropriately, of course. <laughs> this witness election <laughs> coming up and it's worked 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 our work in this Saturday during the election. Okay. That's about and, and if I may say so, please keep your eyes and ears open for some candidates. We need some good Democrats to run for office, guys. If you know of anybody who um, is interested, please uh, send them my way. Uh, let me know. I'll bug them and uh, we're looking for some good Democratic candidates. So thank you very much. I need to call a state meeting. Any other business before the before the before the organization? The motion to adjourn. So move. Okay. Move to we adjourn. Don't need a vote. Thank you for coming to the meeting. Appreciate it. With next meeting is the third Thursday in, 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 uh, in May. We'll see you then. I'll be giving Derek and Sandra giving you guys a call real soon. Thank you very much. Bye bye, Thank Derek. You. Thank you, Derek. Yeah. Take care. Yeah. Take care. Good night. 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 Good night.